Hey guys, it's Carnifex of the Nerd. This video today, we are going to be going over how does potency and tenacity work? Because I've been getting a few questions about this and the number uh, increased significantly with the changes to the raid that came up with them buffing the tenacity and all the raid bosses. And then also with certain things like turn meter reduction, dispels now being resistible, which they weren't prior to in this game. So let's go on into it i have a spreadsheet that i'm going to use to help show you stuff and as always i will link it in the description it is useful in my opinion for those of you guys who want an easy way to kind of assess um the raid viability of your character's potency so let's get it done so uh first of all we are not talking about cleanses a cleanse is whenever you helpfully remove a debuff from a member of your own team so patriarch chi right if you have a shield boosted enough to start cleansing debuffs there's no potency check. There's nothing like that. It just happens if it says it's going to happen, right? Um, next, the first thing that comes in, right, and you can see there's kind of like three stages. If you want to apply a debuff, if you want to apply a buff to an enemy, right, like um, like Cruel and Puncher Face, and if you want to dispel. First, it's got to hit, and then it's got to attempt to apply the debuff, and then it's going to pass the check. So, first, Little disclaimer: If the ability does no damage, then it can't be dodged. Then it um, then it can't be dodged. So uh, 90 L's passive, right, which does the the dispel of buffs on enemies, they can't be dodged because it doesn't apply damage. So uh, they may change this in the future. If they do, I'll just kind of like remove this from this thing. And disclaimer that everything's subject to change, but as of now, it's the way it is. Every other, essentially every other instance of applying a debuff, etc., though there's damage associated with it and that means there's a chance that it can be dodged if it's dodged your the chance of it to apply those things doesn't matter that your potency doesn't matter it's all irrelevant because you missed uh if you go in here you can change boom i'm gonna have a lot of these cells locked up just so you can't accidentally mess up any of the little like formulas that are in there this one's a little easier to put together thankfully some of my other ones um which by the way i'll go ahead and put a link in the uh, in the corner here for my damage calculator um so, uh, anyways, well, it's got to hit, right? I can change this to 22, and if you watch on the right side there, it's currently, right, 25.52. What happens if we change this sucker to 22? Boom, it drops, because we've increased the amount of times that it's going to dodge, and none of the other um, stats are even going to be relevant. So, oops. That's not what we wanted. We're going to put this back over here. My bad. Okay. So, next... You gotta successfully attempt. So um, after you've applied the damage, like, all right, let's see. So what impacts this? It's the ability. If we go into here, right? Now some characters do have a 100% chance to apply, and they'll just say, you know, we'll we'll go into someone real quick here. So it's just kind of who's around. Um, who's around that just kind of where's a give me a give me a okay. It's so like Envenomate special, right? Right? Poisons the target, right? Or flicks bleed on the target, that sort of thing. That means it has a 100% chance to attempt. Doesn't guarantee that it's going to actually apply, but it is at least going to attempt to do that. So here, 70% chance to apply burning. So if we go into here, right? We go into here, 70% chance to attempt. That means 30% of the time, my potency isn't going to matter because I didn't even attempt to do it. Call your guy lazy or whatever, but it's to cap certain abilities so that they're not too overpowered. Particularly, you'll see this for Ember's Dispel when we talk about it in a second. So, 70% chance. If, if it's that 30% chance where it doesn't roll right, your potency is irrelevant. Your tenacity is irrelevant. None of it matters. Your potency can't increase, cannot, right? Cannot increase this number only ability increases can do that so like as you can see right starts off at 30 goes to 50 goes to 70 so it can be increased as long as there are ability upgrades that allow that that upgrade it all right so you've got to attempt you got to successfully attempt then you try to pass the check so uh in certain games there's a guaranteed minimum chance to resist or uh, apply that does not exist in this game like in star wars galaxy of heroes it was like a 10 or 15% chance to resist. Unless it said irresistible, there was a that that even if that person had 50 times more potency than you, there was always a chance to resist. The devs confirmed that does not exist in this game at the time. And so if your effective potency, so considering passive buffs, etc., is greater than the defender's tenacity, 
effective, right, effective tenacity, considering buffs, passive, etc., um, then you are going to stick the 100% of the time that it is attempted and doesn't miss, right? So here you can see that this person's tenacity in my hypothetical is 13% underneath. So it's an 87% chance of applying if attempted. And so basically you just kind of multiply all those things together to end up with your chance to actually apply it. So that's going to be factoring in the times that you miss, factoring the times that you don't roll and you don't get even a chance to try, and the times that you're going to fail the potency tenacity check. Now, how does this work with multiple enemies, right? So basically, on each individual enemy, you're going to do this whole cycle, right? Because certain characters, right, if your Kin Lee has a higher uh, dodge chance because his dodge buff is up from his taunt, he's going to have a greater chance to dodge. You can't apply it just one way. So each character, obviously, thankfully, very quickly, right, is going to go through each one of these scenarios. So if, uh, again, here, she's uh, trying to apply damage, one instance of burning on targets, and there's a consistent chance of it applying. So each character is going to have this applied by their stats, right? So you have one character, like, like Kinley has his dodge, right? So he's at 22. But, an, and, but another character, their tenacity might be higher. So it's just, they're all going to be a case-by-case, -case, character by character basis. Um, it's just going to do it automatically, thank goodness, what happens really quick. Now, what happens if an ability would apply multiple debuffs, right, or dispel multiple buffs, how does that work? I'm gonna show you first with more Doom because I think it's a little easier to go if there's no kind of, it's, it's guaranteed, right? So as you can see, he just inflicts it, right? He has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, Five, six. I don't know what I did there. Oh, I kind of decreased. That's why I did six. I'm like, the eight's not right. I did this before. All right, so it's six, right? He has six debuffs that he can throw on there. How does that work? Well, in this case, it's easy because he has 100% chance. So we don't even have the question of that, right? He does deal damage. There's a chance to dodge. He would have a 100% chance, right? And then we look here. Let's say that the potency and tenacity was the same. As you can see, I've added here, if there's a chance to apply or dispel multiple, you know, X number, y, you know, blank number of buffs or debuffs if attempted, right? So all considering is this. So he has 100%. Boom, we're going to go in here and look. If it's attempted, it means it's already dodged. So it's not taking any of these things into consideration. It's just a um, taking this to certain powers because that's how you would do that calculation. So his chance of applying one of those six is an 80, you know, 7%. Chance of applying any two of them is 75. Any three, 65. The chance of him applying all six successfully is 42%. Now, watch here. If I just change this by 5%, not very much, right? That 40, you know, three rounded up goes to 60 rounded up. We've increased the chance of applying all six by 50%. So even though it's a small change in potency, it can really mean a lot whenever you have, whenever you're trying to stack as many of these multiple buffs as possible. So let's take it to our more complicated example of Ember, right? Someone we actually have right now, so it's a little more practical too, on top of it being a little more complicated. How's this gonna work? So uh, just like we were saying with the single, um, single instance, it's gonna be character by character, right? So each character is going to have the ability to dodge this damage, and they're going to have the ability to look at this, right? Because it's only a 30% chance to dispel all the buffs on the enemy. So 30% times, and we're going to keep this potency. We're just going to keep it there so you can see it, right? So she's only got a 92% chance to pass the check once she gets that far. So overall, the chance of applying her to selling a debuff at this point is 27% because of that really low chance here, because of that small chance of dodging in this. So let's say that you're, you, you luck out here, right? 30% chance. Once you hit this on a single character, let's say that character has five buffs, right? They got the Soleus buff at the beginning. They got, you know, they got a bunch of stuff, right? They got five buffs on them. What's the chance that you're gonna, how does it work uh, dispelling multiple of those buffs? So first, right, you gotta get lucky with that 30% chance. Once you hit that 30% chance, 
you only do the potency and tenacity checks, right? So you do the potency and tenacity check for each individual buff. So you got five buffs. I don't know if, it, even if there were some kind of priority order and how it went or if it was random, it wouldn't matter um, uh, because the order in which they're dispelled isn't, uh, well, I guess, okay, I guess that would be one thing is, what about a tenacity buff? That's a good question. That is going to be a hidden one. That there's nothing you can do about it anyway. But um, potentially getting rid of a tenacity one first would be more significant. I don't know anything about the order, but you're, you can't you can't plan for randomness like that. So uh, we're going to go in here. Right. So if she's lucky with that 30% chance, then each buff is individually going to get checked. So you're not going to actually remove all in that way uh, anymore. Because even though the description hasn't changed, the impact has changed. Prior to when D when Dispel wasn't resistible, obviously as it's like a 100% chance, right? It has a 100% chance of uh, passing the check if, if it's attempted. Now it's going to, what happens is, so you aren't, you aren't going to have to get 30% chance every single time, right? It's going to be all or nothing. Either you hit 30 and all of the buffs get checked, right, on their own. And some of them dispelled, all of them dispelled, none of them dispelled. Or you hit that 70 and none of them are, ch are checked in the first place. So we can see here that with this 8% deficit, the chance of her removing, if attempted, all five of those buffs, 65%, right? Uh, if there's only three, right, if you're using her against Hard Orc, at that point there's a 77% chance that if you hit that 30% chance to dispel, it's going to dispel all of the buffs. So... I know that was a lot. <laughs> uh, definitely put me uh, put any questions you have or points of clarification in the comments. Um, and also, I want to go ahead and say, this is going to be on the Be A DC website. It's going to be under the... Um, oh, I have it right here, you dumb. All right. So it's going to be on the Be A, D web, Be A DC website. Uh, for those of you guys who haven't seen Meta those videos, he is definitely one of the most active uh, playtesters and he runs this site. So uh, he's been really cool. He has a uh, page about all of the tenacity changes that came with this recent update. Uh, whether it's, hey, here's what your raid boss's tenacity is now, or just kind of, hey, what things were changed. So uh, if you're specifically interested in that, definitely go check it out and you will see the video posted here. So thanks to him for uh, spreading the love there. And anyways, I, got, I hope this has been interesting and useful for you guys. Uh, and uh, see you next time.